guys, welcome to another walking into the unknown with Jay. Uh, we're at Donnanook today, uh, RAF Donnanook as well. We're trying to bring you some of the stuff that you don't see today. Um, I would uh, advise this video is very distressing. Um, so watch at your own discretion, guys, because um, not only are we covering some buildings that we haven't seen, we're also covering some of the, uh, the seals, the unfortunate ones that didn't make it. Uh, so as I say, guys, um, watch this at your own discretion. Siobhan's with us. Give us a shout, Siobhan. Yeah, she's now the Irish Explorer, guys. Check her out. I'll be leaving some links to her uh, YouTube at the end of this video. Cheers, guys. So just to let you know guys that these poor little fellas didn't make it, um, unfortunately. Looks like the ice has been pecking out of them. It's like a bloodbath on there, guys. There's literally hundreds of seals. Oh, that didn't make it. Poor little buggers. And you know me, guys. I love the wildlife. If you uh, if you check out my Facebook, I've I spent quite a few years doing wildlife photography and stuff. But hey ho. Um, we are here today to show you some stuff that you don't normally see at Donnanook, whether it be um, civilian and military. And the goal of today was to find the old original air raid shelter. Let's see if we can find that. But there we go, guys. Uh, there's another one of the towers. So we're gonna we're gonna check out that way and see what we can see. So there you go guys, there's another one of the towers. So these are a first for me, I've been coming down here since I was a child. Never even realised these was here. How mad's that, eh? It looks like this one's uh, cordoned off as well. Check that out guys. I think that's the shelter behind. Now we just get through these stones, look, because there's no fence on here or anything like that. We're just uh, walking through. Watch the thorns. Crikey. Check that out guys for a little spotting tower. 
So any of you guys who uh, who see when they're on the uh, furthest away target, I'm guessing that's the tower they probably used to use. It's not used anymore. It's just uh, left abandoned like many RAF things, as you can tell by the state of the flag. Obviously, I think this would have been one of the air raid shelters, possibly, maybe a gun emplacement. Uh, I don't know. You guys should know more than me. Check out that guy's full blast door. Possible World War II ammo stores. Not sure guys what this would have been. Possibly another ammo stores maybe. Probably about it, guys. So we thought, guys, as the red flag's down, it's not a live range. We'd uh, we'd just have a look at the at the targets. Well, the furthest one away, the one that gets absolutely peppered. and this bit gets pretty tied up. Looks like these guys are drums, or chemical drums. As you can see, there's, there's quite a few, like. And that'll be the beach. Yeah, 
There she is, look. What she found. Probably shells and stones. <laughs> what you found. Irish Explorer guys, don't forget to check her out. Right, check this out guys, eh? That's her eyesight. One of the uh, one of the shells. Nice. Obviously guys, as you know, we don't take out, we'll just leave it there and we're only here to have a look and sink a bit in the sun. <laughs> it's a bit squidgy. Up this neck of the beach, guys. There's no seals. There's uh, there's just nothing. It's just an empty beach. Uh, and some targets. And a tire, by the look of it. And some seagulls. Probably looking for fish and chips. What's that, guys? Some sort of old spring, I think. I could do with a bit of that myself. I feel knackered these days. Uh, so there you go, guys. There's the tower up that end, the main control tower. The old seals there, right up there. We're down here checking this out. So guys, we just had a bit of a lucky find as well. Check that out. You know what that is. It's a beaut. Obviously we don't take out, we just chuck it. Walking back to the main beach now guys. There you go guys, there's another little one. I, I don't know much about munitions as you can probably tell, <laughs> I don't know. Um, small calibre, uh, no idea. I'm not, I'm not the, music, uh, the uh, munitions guy, I just like looking. Oh, I do know what that is though. That guys, I think is part of a practice bomb. Stick it in a comment if you uh, know what it is, guys. Well, that to me looks part of a practice bomb. So, guys, taking you back to Donanook. It's got a lot of history from it. It was uh, built in the World War One. I. I could be wrong about some of these facts, but it's what I've dug up. Um, it was built in the World War One as a main um, base for uh, balloons to uh, stop Zepp uh, Zeppelins here to stop the uh, Jerry's coming in um, then it in its uh, time it's obviously been used by the USAF oh guys there you go 
another bit of a practice bomb. Um, yeah, used by the USAFI, obviously the Royal Air Force. Back in my day, coming down here as kids, um, we came for the uh, F-111s, A-10s um, from Woodridge. Uh, oh, good days. The old tank busters. 4,000 rounds per minute of that, smashing into a tank. We had no chance. Uh, yeah. Um, Harriers tornadoes all sorts of jets coming on here over the years eagles eagles still occupy the range when it's active but uh, today there's no red flag up it is the weekend there's nobody here except us so we're just uh, uh, gallivanting around I've been wanting to come on the beach for a while like as I've been here since I was seven year old um, it's always a place that's intrigued me one of the military uh, military rangers. Um, I think that's it with the fines. So we're back on the main beach now. You have uh, Lake and Heath jets popping in quite regular. Also our typhoons, they do a lot of stuff on here. Uh, JTAC, do a lot of JTAC stuff on here, which is nice to see. Um, obviously there is parts of the beach that we all go on um, where you can watch that happening. It's, it's quite nice. JTAC. So there you go guys. Here's the towers. Uh, I think we're going to make our way back now guys. And uh, what do you think? Some of the bits, yeah. You don't see these bits, these little towers, these little spotting towers. I don't see any videos, there's no videos on YouTube of these. Um, so we thought we'd show you them and stuff. Uh, the red face is because I'm absolutely freezing. This place is freezing cold. So, um, yeah. Just a bit of, uh, obviously, a bit of decency when you come on here, guys. So we're going to make our way back up to uh, the caravan place up here and uh, we'll see you on the next one guys thanks for joining us for me and Siobhan like comment um, share the video guys thanks a lot thanks for your support all the subs good on you we'll see you on the next one thanks guys